Good morning, everyone. It's Tim Dow for Living with MS in Tenerife. I've just finished my walk around the Bourganville Playa Hotel, and I'm going to do a quick drive around on the way home. So, see you in a minute. in Tropical and we're on the way to the Bourguinville Playa Hotel. Tropical. Just to give you an idea of where the Bourguinville Playa is. Okay. There's the hotel, and opposite we got the bars on the left here, starting with Rossini's, and there's a new cocktail bar. Present plucker. Shade of the truck. See if they can all get around the corner. And we get a better view then of the uh, of the hotel. There we go. Nobody on the crossing. Over we pop. I'm gonna go around the uh, island here and go back towards San Opinio to give you a view. Down there goes to the bus station. Stop for people. So this is a nice area. It's called San Opinio, or a lot of people call it San Uenio, but uh, Opinio, I've heard a lot of locals say. So it's like Eugenio, but the G is sort of a soft H, like in. Um, I don't know, if there's not an English version of the pirate is. That doesn't matter. So here's the Santa in your shopping centre on the right, supermarkets on the left. Quite a few shops here. Bars and restaurants extraordinaire. Now normally I would get in the right lane here and go out towards the motorway. But this time I'm gonna go straight ahead. And down past uh, Playa La Pinta and the Bee Live and La Pinta hotels. San Aquino's Temple Bar, Scotch Corner. And here is the Ginger Pig. I think Andrew did a one here from here. And also, uh, I think DJ did one as well. This is the Thirsty Turtle. I think they're owned by the same people. Coming down to the Flamingo and Harley's on the left here. Now I know Harley's was open not so long ago, so I think they're just not open in the morning here. But they are open, I believe. It is May, so a lot of people do take a holiday in May. So this is the CC Terra Nova, which is right next to La Pinta uh, Hotel, and you can get a and a lift or escalators down to the beach here. So if you're mobility um, challenged, then there's an easy way down to the front there from this hotel. And right next to it is the Bee Live Hotel. There's also uh, access here, ramp access, which is at the other end, I think. And scoffing his head off. A few touristy shops. Amanda's, very famous for their cheap three-course meals. It's 
this is a nice walky place. It's a nice gentle uh, walk down there to the beach as well, past Hawaii. Not to be confused with the islands, because that's double I. We got the train. Oh no, I've got to get in front of the train. Otherwise, I'm stuck. So, just going to have a quick look down here towards Tanyos. Bar, good for cocktails, and Frisch is also the one that we're going to for cocktails as well. Bar for the camera. Or Fresh it's called, not Frisch, that's German. So this is the disabled parking spot that we always uh, seem to get. There's also another one down the bottom, and this is where the market used to be, and People are saying it's coming back here. So the Adeki market is coming back here, it looks like. And there's gonna be bars and shops inside as well. So this is uh, gonna be nice. Down the bottom there is the Night Owl in the, in the uh, car park. Then we got Friar Corner and Tanyo's. Used to do magic there on the street. It was quite good. Either a feast or a famine, though. They either got pennies in the hat or pounds. Beautiful view of the mountains from down here. So any of these hotels are close enough to the beach, uh, with sort of gradient access, or at least a couple of steps uh, down to the front. Let's see if we can nudge this guy out. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Can you hear that? I've actually compressed my voice to get rid of the engine noise, but you still might be able to hear the indicator going. If not, I am actually indicating. <laughs> so we'll go after the red one. Diamond Resorts. And in front of us is the newly refurbished uh, Sabia. come up to the roundabout where the Wigan Pier is. So we'll have a look at that. And I hear this gourmet mark, mark market, is uh, really nice. I've never been. I'll have to go there one day. But they got quite a few things there. Ibiro Star. Is it Sabia or Sabilla? Is it one L or twos? Let's have a quick look. Sabilla. Uh, actually, Sabilla because it's got an accent over the A, and it's a five star now. Ibiro star, Sabila. Font Tady. Natural spring waters. They only got in plastic bottles though, I think. Christine likes the glass bottles. So I'll have a quick look around here. Fitness center. Somebody's going to cross the road, taking the lives in their hands. Bagash Lil. So this is the roundabout by the Wigan Pier. The world famous Wigan Pier and La Cabana Bar. They do cheap beers and cheap breakfasts as well. Straight up, which is where we're not going, is La... What's it called? Ol Olias? I can't remember now. Rachel stayed there not so long ago. La Placa. That's where all the artists go after they've done a, a gig. So if you want to meet the artists, you can go there late night. Okay, set my life in my hands, coming up here. 
right. Never know who's got the right. Well, I know I don't have the right away, but nobody, nobody else does either. This is Banya Bay Plaza. This is where you can get the bus anywhere, in any direction. On the right side here, you can get the bus to our house. 473. Again, if you go straight up here, you go to Grand Sur, the shopping centre. They call it X now, X Grand Sur. There's the best jacaranda. Also been done up. And on the right coming up is the newly done Labranda Suites. I'm going to take a right here. And go past the uh, GF Isabel, GF Fania Bay. And uh, hope to miss the, the train. Affectionately known as the Wally Trolley. I think there's a adults only on the left here. But we're taking a right round there now. Left goes down towards Del Duque and the Winchester at the top of the beach. So I need to go left here now. This is the GF Fania Bay. A little bit tired on the outside, but it's, it's good value. And on the right here, we have the GF Isabel. And I believe that is really, really nice. So if I hadn't gone around by Tanyo's, I wouldn't have missed him, but there's a dual carriageway coming up, so we're all right. Uh, right up here is towards the motorway again. And the market's on today, because it's Thursday. So this is the real Adehe market. going to the right. I'll go past him on the left. Have a look at the market. On the right of the market is the Duke Shops. And now we're coming up to the Tenerife, what's it called? The GF Tenerife Grand Hotel. Grand Costa Adeki, that's the one. So well, that's really nice there. But there is a bit of a a uh, hill down to the beach. I'll, I'll show you that hill down to the beach because this is for Jackie as well. My sister is coming over. On the right here now is the GF Victoria, which is a really posh one. So if you come out of the GF Grand, you can go down here. restaurant on the right there now this oh, it's not too bad actually I said there was a big hill down to the beach but it's not too bad there's a long slow climb back up this takes you all the way down to the Duke shops sorry the Plaza del Duque which is very similar to the Duke shops. Also restaurants, bars and outlets. I'm gonna buy posh stuff. This is the Grand Takandi, which is also a fantastic hotel. Not the cheapest on the island, but uh, well worth the money. Lovely spot and right on the beach. And it's one of the nicest beaches as well, the Ducky Beach. So we'll just get down here and show you a bit of that. This is where I was actually on one more walk the other day. So you'll see where I came with the car and the car park. I stayed in. Are we still on? Yeah. So there's another view of the castle that wasn't owned by Liz Taylor. I'm going to shimmy around behind this guy. Okay, that's a Del Duque. He's gone in the wrong car park now, because this is the car park you go to, the corner car park. And that there is the Grand Takandi um, thing, um, pool, which is really nice. So you're right on the beach here, right on the walkway. Fantastic. 
This first car park is pretty tight. So if you're in a rental car, you're liable to ding it and, be, and have to pay a lot more. So that could be really expensive. Okay, so that was that. Nice Duke and Plaza del Duque. So what I'm going to do now is, especially for my sister Jackie, I'm going to drive all the way to La Caleta. I'll say all the way, it's not far. And show you the other hotels that you were thinking of. And uh, you can make a decision based on the areas. So I'm going to go up this way. Could have gone the other way, but then I would have been, I don't know, that would have been better actually, but don't worry. We'll see. So we're coming back up now towards the GF Gran Costa Deje. And it is a beautiful, sprawling hotel. It's uh, massive behind. It's like a village behind. So that was the hill you have to come up from the beach. right there look I went across the road anyway now what I want to do is turn left here but I can't I've got to get around the island the island again. We're going to go right round. Let's go right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, round, 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 round. Give you another view of the GF Isabel and another view of the Duke Shops. In fact, when I'm choosing the angle of view, I will have probably shown you the market last time and the Duke shops this time. Uh, there is actually parking under the Duke shops and it's free for two hours, I think. So that's pretty cool. It's at the end of the Duke shops right here where the red car's going and the white car. And that is quite nice parking under there. Free for two hours and it's dirt cheap after that as well. like a letter now. On the left here is the really posh, um, what's it called? Mirador del Duque, I think it's called. Del Mirador. This is where all the A-listers a stay. So you have to sign a non-disclosure agreement when you go and work there, that you're not gonna say who's there. That's got everything you need, really. So, Bayabab Suites in front of you, and the plantation. And now we're going down back to the other side. It's a beautiful view of the uh, of the rest of the coast. So, this is the plantation on the right. Again, a bit of a, a, a walk down to the beach. I think 
this is also the Mirador, I can't remember now, but uh, these are two different hotels, but of a similar ilk. Got some shops on the right, and it's a, uh, it's a spa spotter, there's a spa here. to La Caleta. So this is the area of Bandramara, which is the beach by La Caleta. There's Tiggy's Bar. I mentioned that on a vlog the other day. And here is the Rio, the Sheraton and the H10 Adeki Gran. We're gonna go down there and have a quick look because that's one of the hotels that my sister's thinking of staying in. Nice shopping center here on the left. It's got that little bar in it as well. Christina will be wondering where I am, but don't worry, you'll be okay. Uh, Costa Adeki Palace is this, the H10 Costa Adeki Palace. And this will take you all the way to the Playa de la Enramada, which is where the parachutists land from the top there. Right ahead of you is the Coral Suites. There's an adults only and, an, and a family one. deliver into the hotel so there's if you park in here you might get blocked in in the mornings and there's Enlermada Beach and that's where they all land over there look and there's a beach bar called the Cocalucci that sometimes has jazz on in the afternoon as well so that's quite nice. Okay, quick look round like a letter, and then I've got to go. Big barranco on the left here, which the water runs down when it rains on the mountains. Taxi rank. There's a lovely bar in this shopping centre called Cafe 7, and they do a hidden burger menu. Ask for the burger menu, that's really good. They want to sell you paella and stuff like that, but there is a fantastic burger menu in Cafe 7. Coming up to the Sheraton, this is where we always stayed. Highly recommended, the Sheraton La Caleta. Five star luxury. With a spa, tennis courts on the left, beach bar, three restaurants, or even four, I think. If they're all open at the same time, sometimes they're not. Highly recommended, Sheraton La Caleta. I'm going to take a left here towards La Caleta village. There's the Tuk Tuk bus coming. Nothing on the right. Let's go. So that goes direct to Silencio. So you can actually go from La Caleta to Silencio on one bus. I did a vlog around here not so long ago. I'll link that in the description. On the right here, it's looking pretty barren, but I think that's rife for development. These are 
the coral suites. We aren't going to go past those, we're going to go around the front of them. There's a nice parking spot as well. There used to be a lot of caravans on here, but they've moved them. This has been, this road in a minute has been done up. So this is the other end of the Playa de la Enramada. You can see the Cocoluki Beach Bar down there. Beautiful views of La Gomera when it's not in the mist. And this is the restaurant uh, Jardin. This is the one that's a three-star hotel, but it's just been done up. And so it might even be done up to four-star standard. But uh, this is the place where you can get reasonable dirt cheap holidays in La Caleta. Ramp up to the door. If all you're doing is bed and breakfast, that's perfect. Because right next door, you've got cheap breakfast bars. You've got La Garto, which is a basically a Michelin value restaurant. Fantastic. Part of the venture group. And you've got people going the wrong way on bikes. And this has all been just renewed. Fantastic walkways, everything on the flats, uh, lowered things or raised um, crossings. All the bars on the left here have got views out to sea. So this is a beautiful area, La Caleta. It's not as umpa umpa as the Las Americas or Los Cristianos, but it's beautiful if you just want a quiet vacation with good food. We have some really, really good restaurants here from Venture. Go down that one to the back there. So we're going to go down here. That's brand new, that La Cava. That looks really nice. I think I'll go there for a coffee later. Well, not today, but maybe another day. So the building stuff now, La Caleta Suite. So another thing. is the Apnea Academy. If you stop breathing in the night. Italian pizzeria, kebab burgers, mini supermarket down the bottom. But most of the restaurants you can't get to with a car here. So, uh, Le Petit Bistro. And this one is the beginning of the maritime walkway. So here you jump on and you can walk all the way to the end of Los Cristianos. This is a little bit hilly, this bit, but you can walk round the front, the coast, and come up a more gradient. A nice little church there. Tabernacle. And this is another view of the coral suite. This is the adults only side. So it's really, really long, those two hotels. So this looks really nice. La Caba, La Caleta, looks really good. And to the right down here, there's nobody behind me. So there's some more restaurants down there. Now we're going up towards the motorway. I'm going to find a safe place to stop and finish it here. Places on the left. There's dual carriageway, so you can go pretty, you go 40 here. Everywhere else is 30 in the built up areas, which is 20 miles an hour. Golf course on your right. This is a decky golf. I've got to the top of here, turn around and come back and finish. This is Villa Maria, Villa Maria, Hotel Villa Maria. Some millionaires houses up here as well. And a lovely walkway. This will be developed eventually. Thank you.
If you're looking for a plot of land, I'm sure that you can buy one here. Beautiful views of Lagomera. And you can even see La Palma on a good day. And El Hierro. So all three islands you can see from here on a good day. You probably won't be out seeing today. And it's Millionaire's Row. Go to the end here to, just to finish off. Turn around and come back. Another golf course. Okay. Look at that house. That's nice, isn't it? Little dude. Got their own bridge. Actually, the golf course, I think. Yeah, I think that's the golf course down there. So let's get to where we can see everything. And we'll stop and see Sra. Spoons. I hope the battery didn't run out. And you're still with us? Are you still with us? Yes, it looks like you are. Three minutes and 20 seconds. I don't think that's all right, is it? Is it only three minutes? No. That can't be right. Oh, I hope it wasn't a fast one. Am I on the fast one? go, ladies and gentlemen, Henry South. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya.